In this video, I show you how you can go from awareness and funnel down your followers so that you only speak to the ones who are interested in what you have to say and become their agent to go. And when you stay until the end, you will have a fully structured campaign you can use starting today. The best is without spending any money. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette with Real Estate Marketing Made Easy, where we are showing the real estate industry what they can do so they can become omnipresent in their market, will be presented, and when people start to know, like, and trust you, now they are willing to buy from you. So today we want to talk about a uh, uh, strategy we are using so that you can funnel your audience from awareness to consideration all the way down to conversion. And for this, let's jump on online. So today I want to talk a little bit about the new generation of le uh, real estate agents, how you can transition into and what you can do today so that you are staying relevant to your community, to your idle client, and being relevant. So I really, really believe that lead generation is one of the easiest problems you have to solve. So you can get leads from all over, you can buy them, you can generate them your own. So there is no lack of leads. So leads are really the easiest problem you are having, but there is a big of a um, solution out there so that you will become the agent that are in consumers' mind. So as I see it, and you heard me saying it many, many times, the problem real estate agents are having, nobody knows who you are, what you do, and the people that know who you are don't know what you do or don't know you enough that they trust you with their biggest investments of their life. And you can solve that problem very, very easily, not through lead generation, but by being present of your consumers in consumers feeds in their lives through different methods. The easiest method is using online social media that gives us the opportunity very easy to stay in contact with our uh, clients, with our consumer, with our spare sphere of influence. However you want to take it, it is easy somewhat. Yes, it is easy somewhat. It needs some involvement of you, it will be get easier over time. Does it need money? No, it doesn't need to be involving money only when you want to speak up or when you want to amplify what you are already doing and what is working. So what you should do uh, and why you should do it is to build your base, build your client avatar, build your followers and now stay in front of your followers. And you can do this very, very easy with videos. With videos, you are able to stay in front of your community, stay in the feeds of your community. And then if you choose you to, you can do it offline and you can do it offline online. Online, we are using social media. When you are doing it offline, you could send a nice um, postcard or even you give them, send them a message once in a while or you are following up with a phone call. So there are certain ways and depending on the generation you want to work with or your clients are mostly coming from, there is also a difference to understand, right? So if you are working with Millennium, now they are more prone to be online using social media, 
want an answer right now at this moment, text messaging, messaging and Facebook, whatever you choose to work with. If you are working with the older generation, maybe 60, 65 years and up, they still appreciate a postcard or appreciate a phone call once in a while. So they are not so much um, adapted to technology, but don't confuse this that they are not on Facebook. You will be surprised how uh, many of our elderly uh, generation use Facebook because this is now the uh, tool they are using to stay in contact with their family, with their friends through the situation we are still in. So how you can do it, uh, you can now especially, and I see that question over and over again, I am a new real estate agent, what can I do? You need to build up your database, right? And you want to do it through video. Video is the easiest and the most affordable way to build up a database and put um, your database in to work for you and into uh, and put you into front of your database. So let me share my screen so that I can give you a good overview what you can do as a real estate agent and what videos you could do. Let me move that a little bit around. What videos so you can strategic uh, put into place when you want to build your database online. So let me see, let me open a PowerPoint so then I can share my screen and you know exactly what we are doing, lunch and learn. And today is February 18. So we are already well into 2021. It's our second month. So now let me share my screen so that you see exactly what I am talking about. So when you are starting out building your database or want to get to be known in your community, because honestly, I don't know how you feel if somebody knocks on your door, if somebody calls you. Many, many times we don't even take off our phone when we don't know who's calling, right? You look up your number and then you say, okay, you will send them to Messenger to leave a voice mess voicemail, or you are putting them, uh, waiting what is happening and then listening to their voicemail. Now, what you can do, you probably don't see what I have to do. I have to switch stuff around here, but what you can do and where you can now start building your omnipresence is very, very easy with videos and you can use your uh let's first think about how you build your database right so you want to be known in your community so that means you have to be a little bit more hyper local be in your community pick out the community you want to serve. You could do it on a geographical way. So where you are now dipping down into zip codes or dipping down into an area you want to serve, a community, maybe a bigger city, but don't go out too much because when you are all over town, you will be everywhere and anywhere and end up nowhere. So you want to concentrate on an area, if you choose geographically, where you now put your efforts in to be get known in that community. You also could do it by your idle client, where now you say, okay, I only want to work with first time home buyers, or I only want to work with uh, older generation, 55 and over. I only want to work with VAs, so our veterans, because that will come into play because when you do then, and you will understand how this all lines up, 
where you now choose a certain community if it is geographically or if it is a niche you want to serve and to be and get to be known by and that is important because we will structure everything so that your videos will be seen and will be shown very strategically so that you will become the agent they get to know like and trust and that's where everything is going where you can take it in different words you can take it as known like and trust you can take it as awareness consideration and um conversion so you have different words you have the why what and no the why how and what so and that comes all out to the same thing to build up your presence in your community through certain videos the awareness videos or the why videos or the what videos so you will slowly get to the one who builds up their community people get to know who you are first and then they will see if they like and trust you enough when they make a decision to move forward buying or selling so what you want to do is you want to really really uh, think about who you want to serve and also why you want to serve because our first videos should be your why videos and you can structure your why videos different ways so let me when you do your why videos they are not about real estate at all they are about you they are about what you are doing and why you do what you do so i give you a few examples you could do and then let me see paste and paste where we are now taking those videos and you will understand and here let's want you more where we are now in the awareness or how we could say it is awareness like known and trust so let me funnel that down in here and now let's oops let's put oops awareness down here did i choose the wrong ah i choose the wrong one okay all right what is going on please all right so here we have our awareness first or you could say awareness or maybe you know this as the known stage or when we do videos we say this is about the why so you want to make your consumer first aware of who you are as a person and you know and probably heard it many many times people buy from people first before they buy something you have to offer so you need to make your audience aware who you are and your audience is the niche you are choosing if it's a vertical if it is like buyer seller first time buyer so really really think who you want to serve so that you can stand out as the agent who is providing them all the information but first we want to structure our why videos where we are now doing the why videos and a first video could be why do you do what you do that is a personal video you could do so now this you go in front of the camera and tell a little bit who you are 
and why you do what you do. So it is not that complicated. Many have a story and you should tell your story why you do what you do. There is always a story behind. So structure your video a little bit where you now come in, tell your story and a transition into why you do what you do because it will most likely come out of a story um, why you do, maybe you lost your job and uh, didn't have another chance, uh, or maybe you dealt with real estate through your parents and now you want to do real estate. So there are so many stories out there you can tell so that people get to know you first and make them aware who you are, right? We have the awareness known, or we call it our why video. So what, so <clears throat> now you have your first video, why you do what you do. The second why video could be a video you are doing where we are now talking about maybe a childhood memory. What you now can pull in with your real estate. Maybe you was always great as a child to negotiate it about all, uh, all your toys. So, or you protected your toys. So there are many, many stories you could take out of your childhood and position them into the why you do real estate. So that is another video where you can tell why you do what you do. Maybe you always was great in negotiation with your toys or for exchange stuff. So you can take it different ways so that at the end, you take your child story and move it over into your why story. So people understand you first as a person. And now let's talk about our third video where you now could talk about move that all a bit on the right light so that you all right where you now could talk about gratitude why are you appreciating doing your why right so that shows that you are thankful that you are a positive in your area that you are thankful for your clients and show that what you are thankful for. So your third video, aware video, could be a gratitude video. And all of this, nothing has to do with real estate. So stay away from going too deep into real estate. You could end your video. This is Annette with real estate marketing made easy but that is the smallest part at the end that is a last little line just in case you need to stay compliant with your um with your state or with your brokers uh, requirements when you are doing videos but you want to make your consumer first aware of who you are before we even moving in to how you do what you do. So let your consumer first know who you are, why you do what you do. You could take a, a video why you are now in real estate, but don't go too much in it. Just a, a quick overview. The video can between one to three minutes, depending, uh, especially when you are starting out, a one, 60 to 90 minute video, it's still good enough to get tension on those videos. And uh, then we are moving up because we want to qualify our people a little bit more and run them to a funnel. So talk about why you do what you do, the childhood memory you are having that brought you what you are doing right now, or a gratitude video, or tell somebody you are thankful for. Maybe you was in a nice restaurant and you could say, hi, I really enjoyed 
my server and you name the server or I really enjoyed the food or whatever you are thankful for what comes in your mind. You also could talk about your first job, uh, how you started your world of being an adult. That could be another video, what you did first before you did real estate. So there are many, many angles you can take why you do what you do and get aware so that your either clients see you as a person first so that they buy into you as a person first and then later down the road will buy the service you are offering. So now let's get into our second videos you should do. So that means you have to do three videos about you, who you are and why you do what you do. Let me move that a little bit up. And now we are getting into the second stage where we are now doing our consideration videos. Consideration. Where we now know they watched some of our first videos and now we are moving on where we are giving them, um, giving them the opportunity to consider us as an agent to work with us because we are showing them how we do something. It's how we do. So now you can go into your educational part where you now show what you do and how you do it. So you could go into and um, uh, depending what you are doing, how, um, how you work with lenders. Let's say you are a VA, you need to have a special lender and also the properties need to be VA approved. They have to have certain requirements. And that is now where you could do a consideration video where you do, where you educate and show your knowledge about certain things. VA, you need certain contracts. You need to look for certain things. When you are buying a VA condo, the condo association needs to be approved, but also not uh, even if it's VA approved and people think they can buy with 100%, especially when you are dealing with homeowners association or condo association, it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't require a certain down payment. So make your buyer or seller aware of those what can come down the road depending who you are serving. If you are serving first time home buyers, let them know the first steps they can take so that they are going good into the process where they have all their ducks in a row, the pre-approval, their credit is good. Tell them about why their credit needs to be higher so they get better interest rates. Now you can really show how and what you do and you could educate your buyer or seller depending or even your community what you are doing. The next video what you could do interview somebody interview maybe your lender interview your title company interview somebody you are working with and who makes the process easy for your idle client. You also maybe could, if you focus more on the community, now you could maybe interview a restaurant owner, a shop owner, a small business to help them right now to um, put them out into your world, but at the same time into their world, because now if somebody moves into a certain community, and that business owner is in that community, you will at the same time help that business owner to get out there and you doing a good deed for that business owner. So think about 
interviewing somebody. If you are serving in community, you could educate them how the communities are structured, how they work, if you have association fees. And now you can move a second video by interviewing somebody in your community or interview a lender or interview a, a title company, a home inspector with whom you working with. That gives now the um, your, your avatar or your consumer or your follower uh, the chance to get to consider why they should work with you, why they would choose you over every other agent. I would guess alone when you are doing the videos, they will see you more than other agents because other agents probably are not doing the work that needs to be put in while we are now already into digital real estate, where people now are having a time frame almost 12 months or longer than 12 months before they even make a decision if they want to move forward. So educate and interview and your third video in the consideration video could be where you are telling them how you solved a problem. So again, now we are still in the storytelling mode where we are now solving a problem or how you solve a problem. So depending uh, when you are working, let's say with first time home buyers and their credit is good, but maybe when you are speaking with them, they have a lower credit, but you know when they are saving a little bit more or uh, getting their credit a little bit better, now you know they can get a better interest rate. And tell them, hey, when you are want to have maybe one point or a half point better on interest rate, do this and this. Maybe don't spend any money right now or put up a bigger down payment to get a certain especially when we are talking how to uh, save on pmi where we now have to uh, especially when you are being uh, fha now we need to pay in um, mortgage um, insurance on those principles and uh, now that maybe can be solved when they are putting more than 3.5% down. So let them know how you solve problems and make them better in the process. Now that moves you as somebody who knows what they are doing and know what is out there. So now, uh, especially we are having not enough uh, inventory out there, especially when you are working with buyers, you want to show them how you solve that problem when there are not enough houses, how they can stand out when they are going looking at how the houses and submitting their offer. So solving a problem of not having enough inventory. Maybe think about you are calling expire. Let them know that you are stepping out of the box and calling expired who maybe would consider uh, uh, selling if there is a real buyer that is wants to move forward but doesn't find a property. So you can take that different direction. I just want you to give you a few ideas how you can position yourself and put out a, a series of videos you should do maybe in one day so that you can use them and are not stuck. So we could do the awareness videos over and over and over again. But when you want to start out, do three awareness video, do three consideration videos so that you are consistent with putting out your videos. And then we have the third pillar of our videos where we are now moving into the what. And that's now where we are coming in. 
Oops. And where we are now in the stage of conversion. Conversion. Where we are now one that follower convert into a lead or even into a prospect. And that's where our conversion or our what videos come in, where now you can go all in about what you do. So you could offer maybe, uh, uh, maybe um, consultation, a free consultation. You go on video and say, I am holding a seminar or I'm holding, um, I am open to a group of people who want to learn more. So you could do like a power hour or uh, do where you go on video and tell them what you can do for them. So to help them if they consider selling, if they are considering buying, first time home buyer seminars, or you are giving them an hour of their time, your time where you are taking a look where they are in the process and how you can help them. So you could structure your videos. Hey, if you are a first time home buyer and don't know where to start, we are having power hours with our first time home buyers where we are taking a look where you are, what you can do maybe to get a better interest rate or maybe how you can save a little bit more down payment. I am Annette with XYZ and now you are putting out your call to action. A call to action is something what they should do. Sign up, call me, send them to a website, uh, offer them a Zoom room, offer them like I am, hey, 12 noon, we have lunch and learn. You could do the same, uh, uh, maybe build your own little group and or you go on your public page, on your Facebook page, business page, and go there and every whatever Friday or Thursday or Saturday or Sunday, at a certain time, you come out and give a valuable information hold a lunch and learn where you are answering question showing what you are do as the agent you are serving the community and community i mean literally not the physical community but also the vertical if you are niching down into a certain group of buyer or seller. So, and it's also depending on the area, how big your community or in what you want to be known and special, specialize in. Maybe you want to move into the luxury real estate market. That is a totally different animal. So you need to know how luxury buyers and seller, how they think, what they do, where they are. So that is where you are now really, really niche down and need to know your niche. Now, our uh, second video you could do is now where we are uh, talking about a little bit what you do and how you could help them uh, what you do as an agent and why they should use an agent. And now you can position yourself on why they should use you because you now and now you understand why I'm saying you have to niche down because now you can, can come in and say I serviced X amount of uh, buyers and sellers here in that community. I am very aware of that community so I know what is going on about the events. Now you can go into a little bit deeper but also showcase what you know. I only work with first time buyers. I know their pain and st struggles and we are doing power hours to to uh, educate many first time buyers about things they maybe overlook or don't know. So I only serve those home buyers and uh, focus so that I am the one um, focus on um, focus on the first time home buyer so I understand 
uh, that industry and I only serve first time home buyers. So now you can position yourself as the one who only serves a certain community buyer seller and become known for it. So now they understand that you are not all over town or serving everybody on anybody. Maybe you are only uh, selling homes with pools. So now you know where the most um, creative pools are or whatever you are specializing in, make it known to your viewers to your community so that they trust you so here we have the known you see now that is the like stage and now you want to show them that they can trust your expertise that they can trust that you are the right person representing them on the side, on the buyer's or seller side. So you know when you serve buyers, there are certain things involved. You have to take care. If you are a seller as well, you a seller's agent, you as well have to uh, have to um, uh, know certain steps that need to be taken uh, when when you are representing sellers. So and now our third trust video. Uh, we are doing a personal branding package. Where now you are giving them something they only can get from you. Now you can tell them, and again, that's where it comes down when you really niche down and understand your community. Now you can give packages or guides away to your audience where you put your personal branding, your personal input into a guide. They, those are information they only can get from you. And when you watched last week's video, we talked about guides you can uh, put together so that you are the one who has the in, only the information they are looking for. And now again, you can get uh, to a call to action where you are now talking about if you want a guide, contact me and that and that number. So now we can take it different ways. They can email you with a certain uh, with a certain subject line. Maybe um, if now you can, when you want to follow the videos where you place them and where your leads are coming from, you could do certain subject lines for the email. Say, hey, email me at hello at gmail.com uh, and put into the subject line, I love first time home buyers, or I am a first time home buyer, or I love community. So you could do different subject lines. That's the easiest way where you now can isolate where your leads are coming when you place that videos on different outlets. Now you know exactly the headline you are choosing for the outlet you are giving. I hope that was clear. So now you could send them to a landing page, go to www. Blah, 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 and you easily can sign up. You could also say, hey, text me and I send you, or you could also send them to a messenger bot where you now use the messenger bot using URL for that messenger bot, send them to the URL, forward that URL to the messenger bot, and now you they are able to start within the messenger bot and download that guide or whatever you giving them right away. So those are the videos we are recommending you start off. And now when you have those videos in place, and I would highly recommend you are doing first your awareness videos, put them out first the awareness videos before you move into the step 
of the light. So what we are seeing a lot, people are going out there. I, I, um, I appreciate they are doing videos. I salute them. But also you need to look how you structure your videos. You don't want to get out and say, hey, it's Annette with XYZ Brokerage. I am here, your realtor, and we have that property. You don't want to do this. You first want your people to get to know you. And when you are coming out, tell a story first about the property and then on the end, tie in a little bit your, your, your outline, your outro. Uh, so what you want to do, start with a story first, hook them first, then tell your story. And on the end, you can say, hey, I am Annette. I'm a realtor serving, blah, 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 blah. So, but you don't want to go out there. First off, they probably know who you are. When they are watching you, they watched your public profile. They probably went over to your personal profile where it should stay what you are, that you are a real estate broker or a realtor or an investor or whatever you are. That should be visible on your personal profile. But when you post those videos, they should be on your business page. And they know already when they watch your business page who you are. So start with a hook, tell your story. And on the end, you could do a call to action or tell them short, very short, who you are. So that will give you the most effects on your why videos when you are moving then when you have all your why videos out now they know who you are they make the decision if they want to listen or if they don't want to listen and now you can put those like videos in front where you now show what you do and how you do it you can educate them you can put out interviews but also you could solve problem. So that is the structure, how we would do it, how we are taking it on. And now you then on the end have your conversion videos where we are now being the trusted source. And we know when people watch those videos, now we know they trust us and are ready for the next step because now we are uh, 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 giving uh, them, the, them the opportunity to reach out to us, provide us with an email, a call to action, whatever you are doing. So don't go out and put your call to action first. Those times are over. The internet, the social media and online consumer are different. When you are coming in and ask first, for their information, they will not give you the information and you will lose them. They first want to see who you are as a person, then they want to move on into seeing if they like what you do and how you do it, and then they move into the trust, uh, uh, into the trust, uh, in the conversion, where you now can tell them, hey, we have this, give us this so that is very important what i want to give you guys on your way so you see we are funneling those people down that is our funnel everybody who comes in goes here first let me see oops goes here first and then we are funneling them down into the consideration phase. And from there, now we are funneling them down into the conversion. And that's how our funnel works. You first get all the people aware of you. They are all up here. And then you get them a little bit filtered out into the consideration and then when we are in conversion, we know they are on the bottom of the funnel where we are now taking on nurturing. But that is a video for a different day so that you are now able to nurture your 
uh, prospects your followers so that you get more out of your work when you are putting in the work doing videos. So let me stop sharing my screen and let me see if you have any questions. So I talked a lot, I know. So, but let me see if here are any questions. If you are have any questions, put them down below. Now you understand why it is important to do your videos, to run them through a funnel and run them through so that you know exactly what is going on. That takes work and that takes time. You can speed it up when you want to put money behind it. And a good video view still is between two to seven to eight cents. So that is affordable. It doesn't break the bank, but now you can speed up going from, from like and from known like to trust factor. Now it becomes much, much, much easier. So that's how we are structuring our, our funnels, how we are funneling people through. So you first have to let your audience know who you are, soft touches, just that they get to know you. Now you can get them into the live where they now see, uh, okay, I know her, I know. Now let's see if I like what they are doing and how they do it. Now you do those videos and then you are coming in and doing your trust videos where you now, when they watch those trust videos, now you know exactly they are interested in something, what you have to offer, what you have to say, and now you can ask them uh, if they want certain information for their name, number, and email. So you have one hour with me today. I hope it is not too confusing. I would highly recommend that you do those videos. You could be say the known, like, and trust. You could say the personal video, the physical video, and the profitable video. It, it's all depending views how you slices. You first have your funnel and you need to funnel your people down. When you want to move then on into lead generation, but you will see when you build up your audience, you will get out there, your face will be out there and it is much, much easier. People will recognize you and now leads become a byproduct and it is much, much easier now to talk to somebody who knows already what you do and who you are as a person. So that is now how you are dealing in the digital age of real estate. So again, I don't think lead generation, it's your biggest problem. At the end of the day, nobody knows who you are and when you do those videos consistently, put them out because you will say, Annette, I have now three Y videos. Why should I do more Y videos? Because new people will come in your funnel. They will see your videos, but also you want to keep your old people who are already down there to keep reminding them who you are. So when you come up with a new video, they will watch that video and now you are staying in front of your people. So you have always new people coming in and different people respond different to different messages. And that's how you had, had that, that's how, why we are structuring our why videos different, why we are going into the videos where we are maybe taking first a childhood memory, then we are talking about a first job. Maybe you could talk about what you do during your free time. Maybe you go somewhere volunteering. That all fits in into your why. And now new people are coming in and 
you will connect with different people. So you want to keep your funnel open as wide as possible, but connect with as many people as possible. Maybe they some like you because you do the volunteer work. Maybe other will like you because you are uh, doing do running and they connect on the running level with you. Maybe some are connecting with you because you are serving that community. So there are different points you can connect with different people and you want to keep that wide, wide, wide open. And then you are funneling them down, but at the same time, you will stay connected and on top of mind. So my biggest recommendation is focus on your, on your story and then First, let people get to know you and do your videos consistently. When you are starting out, 60 to 90 minutes are good enough for now. Three minute videos would be much, much better. We know uh, Facebook especially takes uh, three minutes uh, much, much better. But now when we are moving into YouTube, your videos should be around five minutes. So think about this. Uh, also, YouTube has different rules on YouTube. You want to capture or capture your people as long as possible on those videos. So that helps your watch time. That helps then put your put uh, you uh, YouTube takes your video and recommends them to others. So there it's a different structure behind it, but the principles are the same people uh, buy from people they know first so people buy from people people don't buy because you are with that brokerage people don't buy from you because of what you do people first buy from you when they like you when they can connect with you and especially social media makes it very very easy for you to connect with a broad audience and now when you are putting some uh, money behind it or want to um, amplify it now you are talking a different game you can take it slowly where you should put out your videos you know me i would recommend my biggest recommendation is every day a video, but when you are starting out, start out with one video, be consistent, but maybe then move slowly when you see your videos get better, put them out there uh, every second day or twice a week, and then you are moving into three times a week. When you are doing your videos, we would recommend you do them. Maybe you block off a day for me, um, video day is Wednesdays. I have no destruction on Wednesday. That is my day where all our videos are taken and that's where we are putting in the work and then they are shut down and they can place where we need the videos to be placed. So that will be the best for you. Think about the videos you want to do. Take them all on one day and you are done for the week. And you could focus then on next week's video. So you shoot, um, let's say yesterday, you shoot all your videos for next week's video to release. Now you have already five, six, seven, eight, nine videos. And now you are good for the next week and then even have some back up. That's how we would recommend you do it. That's how we are doing it. And that's how we recommend our clients doing it. So I am showing you what we are doing in our agency and in our brokerage so that you can take the same uh, ideas and recommendation and try them for your business. All right. So nobody um, has any questions so far. So let me know if you have any question. I am happy to answer them. I am here for you for one hour. We are almost on the one o'clock hour. So you have five minutes after this. I have to go. I have an appointment. And uh, if you are putting out your videos, you will see the difference because people now get to know you. When you are coming always into people's feet, now that is 
how you put your presence in your market and people get to know you for what you want to be known for. So now you know why we are niching down. Really, really think about what you want to be known for so that you now can structure your videos in that so that people get to know you and that you are get to know your community and that you will be the agent be known for what you do. So that's why it's important to niche down. If you are coming here later watching that video, put down your question. We always are coming back. We always will answer your question. Sometimes I don't see it, so tap me, then I can come back. I answer. So uh, when you tap me, I will get a notification. Sometimes I just don't see it because uh, we have so much going on. We are watching and I get, get so few, many notifications. So make sure that you tap me, then I can specifically answer any of your question. And if you take all those videos, I would say document your journey, document what you do. You now will see that more from me as well, because um, I want to get be known more in the community and I will do the same thing that you are doing. So I show you, if you want to follow me, come over to my page to my business page and you want to run everything from your business page and you will understand why because in on my business pages back end i see everything and can capture everything what goes on onto the forefront and when i know something works well or something works good now i can amplify what i want to do all right, guys, so we have two minutes. Ask your question away. Otherwise, I will jump off here in a few minutes. We talked about everything today. Last week, we talked about the guides. Now you saw why you want to think about your guides you want to have in place so that you can get something out when somebody knows you, likes you, and now you come in with your call to action, when they trust you, you are able to give something in return for getting their information. All 